Hello everyone, welcome to myonlineedu.com's video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll see the how to integrate a chatbot with Microsoft Teams. Um, so as you have already seen our previous videos where we have demonstrated step-by-step -step guide on how to build a chatbot. So basically, we have used the IBM Watson Assistant service as the backbone of the chatbot and then have used a PHP based application as a controller and then we have shown you how to integrate that particular chatbot with Facebook Messenger but in this video tutorial well, we are going to show you how you can integrate the same chatbot which is a restaurant reservation chatbot with Microsoft Teams. So as you can understand that this particular video will guide you to basically to integrate on already an existing chatbot. In this case, it's a restaurant reservation, but it can be anything, any enterprise level chatbot uh, for your use case. So first you have to go to this particular URL, which is dev.botframework.com and then you need to sign in over here. Okay. Uh, so I already have signed in uh, with my, you know, Microsoft Outlook user ID and password. Uh, then, you know, what you need to do is you need to go to this My Bots tab. And then if you click a Create a Bot button over here, you know, this will actually not work. Why? Because, you know, this will take you to the Azure, Microsoft Azure, you know, chatbot uh, application. But here, you need to just follow this particular link, bot slash new. Okay, so, you know, here basically, you know, you can uh, basically uh, create the bot for your Microsoft Teams. And then you need to give a name of the bot. So in this case, let's say my online edu bot. Okay. Maybe. My online edu demo bot and the bot handle. I'll also give the same name. But this is basically if you click on this particular button, you see that you know use in the URL for your bot, you know. And then the description, uh, same as you know, in the demo board. Okay. Now here is the messaging a point that you have to enter. So as you know that you know uh, this particular aspects an HTTPS URL. So we are using the ngrok service to generate an HTTPS based on your local host application so in the back end basically you know we are running the WAMP server for PHP and uh, and local host will not simply work here so we are just uh, about to put the the messaging endpoint for this particular stuff okay and then we'll give the path of this particular application okay so now this is and now after that you know this is the full url of your application uh, basically where you will be receiving the messages from microsoft teams and this is one important part that i need to register my bot with microsoft to generate a new application id and password So basically it will give me an application ID and password which has been registered with the Microsoft. So once I come to that registration uh, page, so it automatically takes the app name and the app ID. Okay, so what you I have to do is I need to copy this one and then generate app password to continue. And also I'll copy this one in a notepad. This is the app ID. And okay, and also I need to copy this password 
because you know this is very important because you will not get the password uh, in future uh, this is the only time you need to copy it so i click ok and then finish and go back to what framework so now you see i got my application registered with microsoft and then got an app id and password you click on agree and then you can register now you see the bot is created okay i have my bot running right now so let me go to settings one once again and if you want to you know upload a custom icon that also you can do now what i have to do is you, you remember that i have copied those information the app id and then put it into my php code which i'll explain it a little bit later and the password and also the name of the bot and then save the file so now let's test our bot application from this button As you can see, I got a response from the bot and what you want to do. So let's make a reservation over here. And I'll say that on, let's say 17th July at 8 p.m. with 9 people at Delhi so I got a reply from the bot that what is the name of the person so you know I'll mark it at you know Lucy So basically, you know, it goes to the our PHP application. It then it connects to Watson, and then get back the response from Watson. And it's the Watson basically says that, thanks, Lucy. I am going to book a table for nine on this date at this time and city Delhi. Do you want to, you know, confirm your booking? I'll say yes. So it's fantastic that you know I got a reservation number which is 4 and then basically so basically this bot is actually working as expected. So now what you can do is you, you can integrate this bot with your Microsoft Teams by you know subscribing to channels from here. So what I'll do I'll just configure you can subscribe to as you can see that in a cortana you can subscribe to uh, direct line channel microsoft teams as well as skype and there are a few other options like facebook messenger slack etc etc so our focus over here is to configure it using microsoft teams So it says that uh, my my channel is al al already configured. Now, as you can see, the web chat, which is this version, you know, and then and basically that with the Microsoft Teams, it's basically registered. So now let's take a look from within the Microsoft Teams how this is working. Okay, so now we'll see how we can use the same chatbot that we just we have just created and registered in. A Microsoft bot framework inside the 
Microsoft Teams application. So I have opened this Microsoft Teams application. So one way to find that particular bot is just type 28 colon and then the app ID. So you will get that bot here. And then basically you are, you know, and also this particular bot comes to your chatting chat uh, uh, user. And then you can type whatever you want to begin the conversation. So I just typed hi and I got a response back from the bot. So now I'll make a reservation. Okay, so I'll say on So it's asking me, you know, to just to, you know, if I want to um, proceed with all this information, you already know about it. So I say, yeah, sure. So it gave me the reservation number as five. So I can again, you know, restart the conversation. And uh, basically then, you know, I can cancel the reservation if I want. I'll cancel the reservation just I have created now. So it says that you know my reservation is cancelled and basically this is interacting with our the same uh, PHP based uh, controller which is in turn is actually con communicating with the IBM Watson service. So this is how you know you can build the whole application and basically integrate with multiple messaging channels. Uh, for an example, Facebook or uh, Twitter or Slack or Microsoft Teams. So this example hopefully you know will help you uh, to build your bot and integrate it within your organization. Thank you for watching.